is the day you find out how this truck runs with all the new work done. It's also the last 24 hours to enter to win it. What is up, loud and proud cat? Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. It is officially the last 24 hours to enter to win this truck. And I'm just gonna make this real quick because I haven't really broke it all down in any videos recently because I'm trying to lay back on that just a little bit. If you wanna enter, it's this easy. You go down into the description below. You click the link lnpgear.com. I'll leave it right here. You go to that website and that is our website. Anything you buy on that store counts. It doesn't matter if it's Diesel Babe gear, Rosine gear, Loud and Proud gear, it all counts. Every $5 gets you two entries to win that truck. For example, if you buy a t-shirt right now, that is 10 entries to win this truck, okay? We've had winners win with less than 10 entries multiple times, okay? So get entered while you can. This is the last 24 hours. Get your name in the system because guess what? This truck's gonna have to go to somebody might as well be you. Let's get into the video. We are actually on our way down the road. We have a trailer behind the third gen. I gotta show, I'll show you this in a minute. It's freaking huge. I'm talking like 30 plus five. It's a big load. So I'm gonna show you guys in a minute, but this thing is cruising like, almost like there's nothing behind it. Bam! There's the trailer. No, I'm totally messing. It's only a 14 footer. My head's like, oh my gosh, the third gen, the only truck I've ever seen squat with a zero turn on it. Well, the truck's leveled out. We pulled the mower all the way to the very front of the trailer. Anyhow, it's not, it's not squatting, guys. Does it look like it's squatting? Does it look like it's squatting to you? Okay, no, no, it's good. We brought our mower over here because my parents are having some difficulties with their mower. So we brought our mower over today. We've actually been over here a lot more than we normally are. And we brought that over so that we can help them out by finishing their lawn for them because they've been trying to push most stuff. And then we've also brought over some weed trimmers because we're gonna go and we have two professional grade still weed eaters. So we're gonna go and trim all the way around these pastures today. Those horses that we purchased are supposed to be here this evening. They were gonna be here earlier in the day, we thought, but apparently they're gonna be here more like eight o'clock tonight. So I'm gonna still try to get that on video because I already got a video going up today. I don't need to get this video up at a certain time. And I'm gonna try to get some video with the third gen here at some point and kind of get like a pull down the road, maybe some shots of it passing by, I don't know. I'm gonna try to throw some stuff together for you guys today. Other than that, we're gonna get to working on these field lines. And let me show you kind of like the problem here and what we're trying to solve here. Before we do that, let me show you back behind the barn here where we had the junk the other day. So all that crap that was back here, we pretty much got everything cleaned up and gone and we are pretty much good to go now. I mean, we've got most everything cleaned up and it looks good. We've got our saddles out here and clean. Still, still some dust and stuff, but for the most part, we got this all shined up. We got all this mowed down. Um, like I said, we just got to trim a whole bunch of stuff. And for the most part, most of the weed trimming we're going to be doing. Come over here. We've got the high tensile electric fence. And the problem that we might have, and you can comment down below if you know different, but we're thinking that with the grass being that tall along the fence line, it might short out the electric in the fence to where it's not gonna be quite as effective. It's not any of the five strands that are on the outside going top to bottom, it's two that are on the inside that are electrified, but we need a weed trim all the way around this so that the fence works and we don't have a horse trying to get grass through the fence and then, you know, ending up out of the fence because that's not what we want. So we're gonna get to working on that right now and then I will keep you guys in the loop. How do you feel about this area being at least somewhat cleaned out for the first time in a while? I feel a little bit bad for the rats. They're not gonna have a place to stay. <laughs> the, the rats are gonna have a place to stay. I told them this is kind of where like, if I didn't want to put something away, I just kind of threw it back here. Literally, <laughs> not lined it up, not organized it. Wing it. <laughs> Just pitch it. What's the plan here? We, they already know she wants to have horses here. We've already discussed it. They're gonna see him probably in the end of this video. You know what I'm impressed with? Yeah. You learned something. What's that? Whatever mama wants, you do everything within your power to appease it. It doesn't always happen. Yeah. But you learned something. Yeah, I'm proud of you. You learn. You learn. You learn. Yeah. It, it's one of those things, you know. They say happy wife, happy life. Is that right? Yep. I mean, it's for me. Maybe. Yeah, well, for me. What we're going to try to do here is we're going to take this little section here, 8 foot by 12 foot, I believe. We'll figure out in a second. And we're going to just frame it off and then put like just basically a, a little tack room. So then that way we can put the saddles and everything else inside. In there. So it's not like a raccoon <laughs> nesting ground. Yeah. We want them to feel welcome. <laughs> raccoon poop is up. Pretty sizable turd. <laughs> So a quick frame shouldn't be too hard. 
and then um, clean this crap out. Get and another thing I wanted to ask you, you saw a third gen for the first time under the hood. This video is the last 24 hour reminder to enter that giveaway. Their last 24 hours. I told you how much money I spent on that truck. You did. That is by far the most money we have ever put into a truck to give to somebody. Yeah. Everything about it is nice. I mean, oh, yeah. you got, I mean, it's a perfect setup is what it is. It sounds good. I heard you gas it down the road or not gas it, but throttle it out. really good. Um, it sounds good. So if I were in your position right now, what I would do is I'd put some money down, so to speak, buy some merch, get some entries, because if you win this thing, you will be more than happy with this particular truck. It looks good, runs good. Um, there's, it's there's fast. Nothing wrong with it. It's fast. I'll take it's your word for it. It's really fast. <laughs> yeah. We should probably let them. I would it. say, like, just from the standpoint as far as comparison, I could mm -hmm. be off because I haven't looked at it, but as far as the sound and just the way it looks in terms of like. It reminds me of the King Ranch more or less. Yeah, it's faster than the King Ranch. Actually, we might have to have you drive. You know what? Just because I said that, we might have to have you drive it in this video. Just down the road and back at some point. We might want to take out some of the tools out of the back. Yeah, we might want to take your tools out of the back so we don't his tools don't slide against the back of the tailgate. We don't want to damage. We're not worried about his tools so much as denting the tailgate. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, he might think the other way around. <laughs> no, but um, anyways, guys, so we got to go grab some stuff. And then we'll get back and we'll see what we do about the whole third gen thing. Get your entries. You won't regret it. So we're about to let dad go for a rip in this thing. I haven't even done like my video review on all the new stuff, but it's pretty sweet. Ready to feel what a stage five transmission feels like? You really think this has more power than the King Ranch, huh? I honestly think so. My honest thoughts, I do think so. This is the first third gen I've ever. It's probably the wheel. best third gen you'll drive too. Okay, now I haven't even done my in cab review yet with the new work, but this thing is nasty. It is really nasty. Oh, it shifted good. Oh, yeah. I know you want to hear the turbo, Dad, but we can't hear the audio. <laughs> oh, wow. you you got to get it. I out didn't of get dig. on it hard either, but you could feel it. No, it pulls. You got to get it out of dig, like build a little boost and launch it. It's it's freaking. It's nice. It's really nice. Don't tell me you want to sell nasty red already, Dad. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Stupid turbo addict. Yeah. Oh man, that sounds good. Isn't it responsive though too? Like it's, it's good. It just makes a difference when you have a good transmission with power. Oh yeah. Like thing grabs. With, oh, with this thing with stock power and this transmission was a world of difference. I'm like, it has a ton more power, but really it was just using the power. You know what I mean? Actually, I kind of want to get a zero to 60. You want me to do it? Yeah, I want you to do it once I get on the road around here. Whew. at zero you're gonna stop it put your brake on give it just a little bit of give it a little bit of boost throttle it up ready? to about 1600 and then let off six seconds holy crap I think we do better oh my goodness this thing was a nine and a half to ten seconds before we before we got the work done do it again? Yeah, let's do it again. Okay. 628 was the first one. I'm gonna Reset. try not to try not to let it go. Ready? Yep. Six thirty. So it was worse? Yeah, I think by like a point second. Uh, yeah, I could feel slipping yeah, more than I was, wanted it to. It was spinning. 
that's aside from the fact that we gained three and a half seconds after it went to the shop and got some tuning done. Three and a half seconds, that's kind of a big deal. In the drag world, in the speed world, three seconds, three and a half seconds is like, it's that's a lot of time you gain in a big heavy freaking truck. Four. speeding tickets oh my goodness be winner care. beware yes all i can say to the winner is be careful with your foot would that be some good advice from you as well I think it'd be good. good advice be careful with your foot like especially if you haven't driven a performance built truck this isn't even like a drag truck that's not what i'm saying but this compared to even just like an everyday you know gas powered pickup truck or even just a stock diesel this truck is not a factory pickup it's got tuning it's got a big turbo it's got the second gen stop it's got a built transmission this truck is built and to it's pull. got it's got wide tires which make a difference too yes and it, i mean it it just pulls so you got to be careful because it can get kind of squirrely and especially if you're driving in the rain or the snow do not get into the throttle because you can create some problems and i'm and i'm not saying that because i don't want you to have fun whoever wins this truck but i'm just saying you got to be careful all that was to suggest that i get rid of a 12 valve and get a Instead. Oh, well, I mean, you can do that. <laughs> he's saying that because he's got his eye on one, but he's not decided whether or not it's a good decision or not. <laughs> a fun decision, yes. Yeah, I pretty much decided it's not a good decision, but do all decisions have to be good? Just saying. The nasty red build was not necessarily a good decision. I was telling my dad, I'm like, here's the bummer. I'm like, you start with a 12 valve, you get 40,000 into it, and you've still got a 12 valve. <laughs> I'm like, it's a cool truck, but this truck with the same amount of money put in is definitely a lot more truck for the money. Okay. And it was a lot easier to get the power and the performance out of it, but you know, what can you do? Every truck's a little bit different, every build's a little bit different. I didn't get to do like my in cab reaction, but I did get my initial reaction just from him. And I was actually better because we could time it and film it, not try to time it, film it, and drive it. I'm happy to help. He, he was happy to help. The numbers could be better. That was a two-wheel drive launch. I'm sure you can testify this to be true. It did spin out a little bit both times when we launched it. It did spin a little bit, so we probably lost a half second at least. For two-wheel drive launch, the thing gets down, doesn't it? Put I mean, a smile on your face. It makes driving. your heart happy. It makes your heart happy. <laughs> Super satisfied with it. The head studs literally just saved us because you wouldn't have gotten away with that without your head studs. The tuning and everything on point. The transmission on point. Guys down at maximum overdrive. The truck's awesome. Super cool. Well, they're here, Reagan. What's your thoughts? Do you like it? Y Is it everything yeah. you thought it would be? Yes. <laughs> yeah. We do have the horses now. I'm kind of making this clip the next day and just kind of working into the video as if nothing ever changed. There's her paint. His name is Scout. His nickname is Koo, which in, what is that? In what German language? means in, cow. In German means cow, and I think it's okay. I think it's because he constantly wants to eat oh, and speak. all the time. Like he just wants to eat. And this is my horse. Her name is Sugar. How old is she again? Uh, I think she's eight. She's eight. She's eight years old. Super, super cool, just laid back horse. Like she's so easy going. Absolutely love this. Of course, I've never really worked with horses. I've never really been into horses, never really ridden horses other than like a couple of times. But I have a feeling this is this is a pretty good one. What do you th what do you think? What's your reaction to this? I think one? she's good for you. She's, she's really good horse for me. She's slow paced when she listens. Like you don't have to know everything to ride her. So she's really slow paced. She's super slow. Perfect for me, right? Yeah. Scout likes to test me. Yeah. So. Scout. Well, he's not he's not a bad horse. He just it's just getting on and off the saddle. I just don't think he likes his bit and when you're pulling on it and stuff and like trying to get on and off. Like, like he just bit or something. he doesn't like it. It's a work in progress. But anyways, guys, here's the update. The horses are here and hopefully you guys we did go for a ride this morning by the way but hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing this little segment here and i'm sure we will bring them back into the content piece by piece just a little bit here and there but anyways on to my next club well everybody thank you so much for watching hopefully enjoy this video hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing the horses as well and the horses in performance from this it's unreal Thank you guys so much. Hopefully you guys decide to enter that giveaway. Take your shot at winning this. This truck is just, it's so insane. You guys have 
to know what it's like to drive something like this and you're not gonna know if you could have been the winner unless you put your entry in and at least take that shot because you never know if you could be the winner of this truck. Thank you guys so much. Link is in the description below, lnpgear.com. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.